Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. So today we're talking about Emo. Emo is from Living AI. Living AI is a company that is trying to launch a new robot, Emo. Right about here, you should be seeing Emo. Emo is a biped robot that looks much like QB and DanceBot in its articulation. In other words, it uses four servos to move legs instead of wheels and a lift, such as Monkey's Vector. Living AI was supposed to do an Indiegogo or Kickstarter campaign. They ended up, all right, let's take a moment and talk about crowdfunding real quick, because crowdfunding isn't a guarantee that you're gonna get a product. That's right, when you crowdfund something, you're backing a product because you believe that product will be successful. And to share with that success, they usually offer you the product at a reduced count, discount price that may be less than what they would normally sell at retail. But it gives them the ability to get the funds to get into production and to get successful to the point where they can make a product for generalized public. But you being an early supporter means that you get some perks out of it. But that doesn't always mean that you are going to get your product because crowdfunding is just what it is. Crowdfunding. You are giving a basically a donation to a company. So you believe in them and they, if they are successful, they will then return something back to you. That's what crowdfunding truly is. So make sure you do your research and ensure that you're doing the best that you can in your selection. Even with a company like Anki, who had a five-year history prior to their crowdfunding of Vector uh, and success with Overdrive and Cosmo, still failed after the fact. We did get a robot and everything did get produced, but it also the company still failed. Jibo was the same, so there's a history of many, many different things. So make sure you do your research. In no way is crowdfunding actually a guarantee that you will get a product but if you believe and you support then it's a risk you may want to take and i think sometimes that's what we got to do i've invested in quite a few of them and i have gotten products out of pretty much all of them except for maybe one uh, but it doesn't mean that we we'll continue to support on some of those products either so we're hoping that emo will start a new trend and get us there so that's what crowdfunding is. So back to this dude, so he can talk to you about some of the challenges and things. So back to this dude. Trying to go with Indiegogo, but they had a cease and desist order placed on them for copyright infringement um, per se. Now, here's the thing about copyright infringement. It hasn't been proven yet that there is truly a copyright or patent infringement from anything that Living AI has produced. It's only an accusation. Not that there's physical proof that this has happened. At first, most people were looking at it saying, hey, because it has a screen and it has eyeballs, um, that may be copyright infringement or patent infringement. Um, but let's kind of take a look at this. As you know, Vector was very Pixar X. Pixar X? Pixar X based on kind of Eva's eyes from Pixar, Wally. -E. So let's look at the eyes. Now the eyes for um, Vector are, and Cosmo are very expressive, but the eyes that are on Emo are a, an advanced step way above with the ability to actually uh, articulate. So are they the same? Animation, I want to go with animation is animation. And there is no way that you can say that these eyes are Vector's eyes. I would say uh, Wally would have more, way more of a leg to stand on than, of course, anything that is basically on a robot. That being said, let's talk about sounds. Now, I've listened to every sound that's currently available, and there's more of a variety 
within the emo base than there would be in the variety towards uh, vector and or cosmo could there be a sound that's similar well you know just like my dog my dog sounds like my neighbor's dog my cat sounds like my neighbor's cat uh, sounds even though they may be similar again it's just an accusation not a factual point of fact it would have to be pointed it would have to be one in a court of law for it to actually be a factual statement and right now we just have accusations i'm hard pressed to say that you can listen to a video and say this is vectors or cosmos sound hard pressed just because something sounds similar doesn't mean you're using the same file the same format and the same delivery as you would see and i can hear other things within the sounds that are way beyond anything i've ever heard come from either my cosmo and my vector so what does this mean for us it means right now that digital dream labs is playing a game that could backfire and cause company harm in my opinion if living ai is still being repressed from actions from digital dream labs shutting down their facebook page trying to go after them without a burden of proof that really is on their side i think those accusations are stemming to actually stall living ai but not actually are based in any point of fact there is no way that digital dream labs has the files from living ai that can make that point of fact, but they can use their pending patents and copyrights to stall living AI. And I think the biggest reason for that stall is mainly because of price point. Because living AI is saying, hey, we're gonna do our biped mode robot for $129. Far supersedes anything that I can see Digital Dream Labs producing far supersedes anything that Anki basically produced. Um, my QB, they weren't very expensive. You can still buy a QB or a dance bot for about 60 bucks. So the articulation in that is a relatively inexpensive product uh, position. So to get him to walk, it's not very expensive. I once watched a video after uh, Anki was shut down and they talked about the manufacturing process of Vector and that video tore a Vector down and talked about the manufacturing process. The process to manufacture a Vector was very expensive. So if you can seek that video out, um, I'll try to see if I can seek it out, but it's been a long time since I watched it. If you only have one choice, then that choice isn't really a choice. You know, I support DDL in the advancing vector but i'm smart enough to know that i cannot get vector advance unless there is solid competition and solid competition comes from a product such as living ai's robot it's the closest competition that vector and cosmo has ever seen and i think it's scaring shit out of digital dream labs now they have stifled the launch of Living AI's robot, and that is sad because competition is, is important. And Living AI, AI will, I think, will now have to fight to get their product released. It doesn't mean they're going to be stopping their production. It doesn't mean that they're not going to try to protect their production. It just means that right now, DDL saying, um, we think this might infringe on our copyrights. Um, everything I see says none of this can be proven at this stage. It would have to go to a, and be determined by a judge and or jury of peers that could say, yes, this is uh, Living AIs. Yes, this is Digital Dream Labs and they are the same or they are not the same. If it is, comes that they are not the same, Digital Dream Labs has now opened themselves up or additional lawsuits from living AI. And that would be very bad for digital dream labs and very bad for us vector owners. There are some other YouTubers that may see uh, emo and have their loyalty to emo or to vector. 
I think that's a misnomer on their behalf. They should stand up and say, uh, we want competition, so I will support both. And there's nothing wrong with supporting both robots. Um, but the, one of the most important things that I uh, want to point out is if we don't have competition, we will never get where we need to be. So I believe that Emo needs a fighting chance. Emo needs a fighting chance to bring competition to the small desktop robot arena. There's room in our lives as consumers for more than one robot. If you don't like what I'm saying, leave me a message and comment with your counterpoint. I would love to hear that. If you like what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up, share the video, stand up on your soapbox and shout out because that's all you got. So this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Max. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. And I will see you soon.